so a very very good afternoon to all of you i welcome all of you to the lectures on electrical machines so before beginning my lecture i would like to discuss the importance of machines wait a minute why machines is important why the machines play a very crucial role in our understanding of electrical engineering so basically what i gained from my experience is that at the application end okay or what we can say that at the what you can say that uh, at the users end the loads are comprising of various type of machines first part okay second part at the generation part it is again a machine alternators synchronous machine so what is happening is that machines will basically decide that how machines will decide that how the transmission network will function it can be only concluded from the machines the efficiency of machines the voltage regulation of machine these all will play a very important point a very important part in the governance of power system is it clear i think it is quite clear now the second part the second very important part is that the power system is driven basically driven by the dynamics of machines how the dynamics are working what we are going to get from machines okay so that's why uh, the understanding of machines become a very important part after that in power electronics my subject my favorite subject my heart what i can what can i say more about it when we move toward or switch towards power electronics then we can conclude two to three very important points first part is that in power electronics the control of machines become very important yes the machines are controlled by using the essential power electronics part i think this is clear quite clear okay now after that i would like to emphasize a very important part very very important part that is that transformers it is a electrical machine that is used to stepping up of voltages and it is used for transfer of power okay in the form of electromechanical energy conversion i think it is quite clear okay so i think this is quite clear this part is quite clear now i will move towards the under basic understanding of magnetic fields magnetic circuits okay so what exactly magnetic fields are okay so basically what i want to say is that the conversion of energy yes the modes the fundamental mechanism by which the energy is converted from one form to another in all types of machines for example in motors generators transformers is the magnetic field so it is a eureka moment for all of us that 
the fundamental mechanism which will be used for conversion of energy from one form to another form in motor generated transformers is magnetic fields now second part the very basic and very important principle a current carrying wire will produce a magnetic field in the area around it yes which is given by the right hand curl rule have a look at this if my thumb if my thumb is pointing in the direction of current then the way in which i am curling my fingers will give the direction of magnetic field it's clear for example i would like to demonstrate this part here okay this is basically a current carrying wire okay and i will put my thumb in this direction okay and then i will make the curl okay i think this discussion is very fruitful that the direction of magnetic field becomes quite easy to understand now a very important part creation of a magnetic field how a magnetic field is created okay so we all know from ampere's law we all understand from ampere's law that h dot dl is equals to i net i think this is quite clear h dot dl okay is equals to i net it means that the net current through a loop is equals to h times the dl part or another part another very important part is that the current penetrating through a loop that is i net penetrating through the loop is proportional to h times the circumference or the length traversed along the loop okay i think this is quite clear now what is h and what is b basically h is magnetic field intensity h is magnetic field intensity and b is magnetic flux density yes and as all the concerned audiences are in the third semester so i can very well conclude that mu times h i'm sorry uh, so i can conclude that mu times h will be equals to b it is quite clear a very important line that is uh, quoted here is that h dot dl is equals to i net so we can multiply this ni by h dl yes so h into l will be equals to ni and what we learned by ni what is an ni the basics of machine begin ni is nothing but ampere turns ampere turns are obtained from ni so ni is basically mmf and mmf will give rise to a very very wonderful quantity very very good, wonderful quantity my favorite quantity that is flux that is flux so i will discuss more about this that how mmf will lead to flux how reluctance comes into the picture how the core will govern our basic functioning equation all of this will be i am going to discuss in the upcoming lectures 
so please be with me okay keep learning keep smiling and have a fantastic day thank you